What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what I wanted to go over is a razor cut. So I decided to do a stacked bob and this is something that you guys have been requesting quite a bit. So I wanted to get in there and really create a nice stacked feel to the haircut so you can see how long it gets in the front but then how much it stacks in the back. The reason I chose the razor is I wanted to really blend the haircut together. It gives a lot more movement to the haircut. So this haircut to me doesn't need to be too precise because then it just gets too stacked and too funny looking in the back. So I think you're gonna like these techniques. Also, we use the razor on dry hair. A lot of you guys might think, why would you use a razor on dry hair? As long as you use a fresh blade, it cuts even better than a scissor. It's sharper than a scissor. So just make sure that you use a brand new blade when you're cutting on dry hair. And I'll show you in this video how easy it glides through. We use the Donald Scott Twist, which is available on freesaloneducation.com to purchase if you would like. It's $34.95. It's a pretty awesome price for uh, that razor tool. If you guys have any questions as we're working our way through this video, please post them in the comments below. Also, if you're enjoying the video, let me know that as well. And here we go. All right, guys, so I'm going to start off this razor cut the same way I start off every razor cut, which is using Donald Scott Prepare, which prepares the hair. It's a liquid tool glide, so it allows your razor to glide through the hair without damaging the hair. Not that razors do damage the hair. I don't want people to think that, but it's also it's a little added protection using coconut oil and some different things to give the hair a little bit of slip and glide. Just makes your razor cutting experience that much better. So now I wanna break down the sectioning. What we did was we parted the mannequin on the left hand side. What you wanna do in the salon is you wanna make sure which side your guest parts are hair on, you're gonna part it there. Then what you're gonna do is go directly down center back and then take a slight diagonal forward section out of that. So a tiny little triangle section to start off the haircut. So now I really wanna break down the elevation because elevation plays the biggest factor in making sure that you have a successful outcome in this haircut. I think a lot of people that struggle with this cut um, struggle with how they should elevate the hair. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the hair straight out from the head. What that's gonna do is give me a 90 degree effect which is a nice layered feel to the haircut. And I'm gonna work my way just like that all the way up past the occipital bone into the bottom crown area. Then when I get to the bottom crown area, then I'm gonna bring everything towards me, which will start my buildup of weight. I don't start building up weight for the most part in this haircut until I get to the very top section, which you can see uh, in one second, I'm gonna show you right here. When I take this section down vertically, I over direct it back right where the tip of my fingers is, is where that uh, graduation is really happening because of the head shape. So look at the head shape, how it curves. Um, we go straight out from the head until we get to the bottom crown and then everything is still coming straight out towards us, but the elevation is different because the head shape starts to move away. Now I continue those vertical sections all the way across the side of the head, over directing them back towards me. What that's gonna do for me is start to push the weight forward. So haircutting is all about creating shape, using elevation, and using over direction to push weight into different places. In this particular haircut, what I wanna do is push the weight towards the front of her face, which will give this haircut more of that stacked look and help it all kind of come together. So now as I finish off that side, you'll see there's not much hair that I'm cutting. This mannequin has a previously layered haircut. So that's stuff that you have to factor into, which will work on in the dry portion of this haircut as well. So I go through, finish off the side. I've definitely pushed a lot of weight to the front. We're gonna mess with that later on in the dry cut. So now we'll continue on to the right side. So same thing on this side. The difference is now my fingers are pointing down. The challenge I have sometimes when I cut with my fingers pointing down is my elbow is now up in the air. And anytime your elbow's up in the air, it's not a natural place for it to be, so it wants to drop down. So a lot of people end up with the wrong elevation on the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side. Not necessarily wrong, but they're definitely different. So as you're working through, just make sure you stay consistent with that elevation throughout the entire haircut. The other thing is when you're cutting with a razor on top of your fingers, I go a little bit further past the guideline. I don't cut it so close to my fingers, but I keep a nice tight tension as I work through just to make sure I'm keeping that line as I cut. 
So this is where the haircut starts to get interesting to me because some of this section that I'm gonna pull down is on top of the head and the other part of the section is on the bottom. So if I just overdirect everything straight down, what's gonna happen is the top's gonna be way too heavy. So I wanna kind of treat them as two different things. So I'm gonna cut the top part of this section horizontally, making sure that I blend it nice and have a nice high elevation. Then as I work down the section, I'm gonna work vertically and keep the flow of the haircut going and overdirecting everything back to that. So just continuing through, you'll see me comb the hair back, feel how it's gonna fall. So I wanna cut the hair how it's gonna fall. And then I just bring it back towards myself, cut it horizontally using heavier strokes with the razor. We've talked about this in past videos. If you want a nice um, soft line, then just do a heavier stroke with the razor and continue through and you'll get a nice soft blended layered look to the haircut. So as I work on the top of the head, I'll definitely go with larger strokes with the razor. And then as I work down to the side of the head, I'll work with smaller strokes of the razor, which give me a more precise look um, as I work through there. So you can see just over directing everything back towards the top, heavier stroke with the razor towards the bottom, lighter stroke with the razor. Now I'm going to go through, I'm going to use the 50% carve side on the Donald Scott twist, um, which cuts 50% of the hair, just creates a little texture, takes out a little bit of weight. I use my Bricado mousse to style the haircut. So I just run that product through and then I blow dry using a flat wrapping technique and my Ergo paddle brush, just working the hair back and forth and just getting rid of all the calyx in the hair. That's what it's all about. That's the whole purpose of a flat wrap is just to make sure everything is naturally falling to the round of the head. If you're not a hairdresser and you're watching this, this is a great technique that you can do on yourself to work the hair around your head to get rid of all calyx, um, but then make sure for all of the hair cutting part, you go to a hairdresser for that. So now I'm gonna go through with my Bricado Vibrastrate Iron. Um, I love this iron because it vibrates as it works over the hair, so it creates less damage and less friction on the hair um, as I'm working through and as you're working through your hair or your guest's hair uh, in the chair. So just working that ceramic plate over the hair and polishing really the outer edge of the hair from mid shaft to end. Now, most of the smoothing is happening in the blow dry. A lot of people, you never wanna see anybody taking a ton of curly hair and just throwing an iron on it to try to iron it out. The more heat you add to hair, obviously the more damage you're gonna get. So really work that blow dry through first then go through with your iron so you're just quickly going over mid shaft to ends and not damaging your hair. You can see that I take diagonal sections. One of the reasons I do that is because I don't want, sometimes you can get that indent in the hair from going through with the iron. So I just like to limit that by going in diagonally. Now we're gonna do some pinch cutting with the twist, which is really just to go through the outer edge. Obviously, I want you guys to think about this. All of the stuff that we did was to the interior part of the haircut, really creating the shape, but nothing to the outer edge of the haircut. So I could go through with my scissor and cut it, or I could just go through and do a little detail work with the twist, which is what I chose to do in this one, just to give it a little more organic feel on the outside. You can see how easy it glides through the hair. People are so scared of cutting a razor on dry hair, but as long as it's a fresh blade, that thing will cut through the hair even better than a scissor, so you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure it's a fresh blade. Now I'm going through, all I'm doing is just softening, just pinching some of the hair and cutting through. It's just like doing slide cutting with a scissor, uh, just a little bit easier technique. Then I go through and I blow dry the hair to get all the loose hairs out. And then I'm gonna go through the top because I see it feeling a little bit thick still in that top section. So I go through with my 50% carve. I overdirect everything towards me on the opposite side that the guest is gonna wear it. And then I cut into it and then flip it over. This is the Bricado Swell. It's a texture kind of cream paste, gives a little bit more volume and fatness to the hair uh, just to really showcase those layers, and but keep the hair nice and soft. A little bit of a soft uh, hairspray to finish it off. And that is the end result. I hope you guys like it. This has been a, a highly requested haircut. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks. All right, guys, like always, if you like this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends out there. Also, I have one question for you guys. Would you like to see me color this mannequin in the next vlog? I'm trying to figure out, should I start coloring the mannequins? Um, I know that mannequins are kind of weird to color, but I also think that we could really go through some technique with all of that. So let me know if that's interesting to you guys, and maybe I will start coloring the mannequins as well so we can match a color with a haircut every time. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.